Hello friends and welcome back. As you can see, I have moved ahead a little bit here. I'm taking Hatra. Let's go fight it out. Hopefully they will sally forth and fight me, but I'm guessing they will not. I did press fight. Yes, I did. All right. They are going to sally forth. Ooh. Yeah, that's a better choice. Not only because I like it, but it's a better choice for you because you do have a bit of cavalry. You do have a bit of... You do have a few chariots. I have much more cavalry, of course, but whatever. And yeah, we are getting warnings that uh, Darius is building up another army in Babylonia, and so I'll be getting Alexander back. He's currently in northern Africa. Uh, we're trading now with Libya. Hopefully we will soon meet uh, Carthage, be able to trade with Carthage and all of that jazz. And then, uh, yeah, it should be lots of fun. So I'll be moving back eastwards, capturing all of North Africa, all of the Egyptian territories, and then moving back out into the desert. And let's start the deployments. Okay. By the time you watch this uh, episode, uh, the typhoon will be gone, but currently, today is uh, Friday, and it's an off day. Well, kind of an off day. I'm still working on my thesis revisions, but uh, I was able to spend the entire day on them, and so I'll be soon fi fi pop up. Soon finished with them, and uh, that's great, wonderful. Oh, another damn pop-up, what the fuck? Okay. And, uh, yeah, so... We'd survive the typhoon, obviously. Strongest typhoon in Taiwan in a long time, and uh, one of the strongest ever recorded in Taiwan. Well, I really didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I mean, I think my worst one was still my first one back in uh, 2005 when I first came here. So, <clears throat> oh no, you know how about how old I am? Kind of, not really though. Um, anyway, uh, but that was I think still think the worst one. Uh, but uh, anyway. We didn't get the brunt of it. It hit the eastern part of the island, and uh, I live on the western part of the island, so it went over the mountains and dumped a lot of rain in the east. But we got a bit of rain, a bit of wind this early this morning. I was wa uh, woken up at uh, about, eh, I think it was about 4.30 with the wind. Closed some windows, closed the door and whatnot. But, but everyone is alive and well, as you can tell. So just a little boy who's pissed off because he didn't get to go outside today poor guy. So, he was a handful tonight, but anyway, he is now hopefully sleeping, and let's get started. Typical setup here, I'm going to just start pushing in. Should be able to defeat them relatively easily. They are attacking me, which is kind of interesting. Okay. This is Parmenian's army, so I will... It is a wide open plain, which is to my benefit. They do have spears on their flanks, which is not to my benefit, but I think we sh still should be able to... What I'm going to try to do is, instead of trying to flank with my cavalry, I'm going to try and push my hypaspists. I'm looking at it from their direction, or their perspective, as you can see. Push my hypaspists out, like this, which will create a gap between my hypaspists and my pike uh, phalanx, and that could be a problem, of course, if I get flanked, but then I'm going to bring my cavalry through that gap, and hopefully crush it, depending on how they align, and as you can tell, they have spears only over here, so what I'm going to do, you can see they're aligning their spears with my cavalry, I'm going to push my hypaspis out, and hopefully seal off that edge, and then bring my cavalry back around, so, and they have now stopped moving, they have stopped moving, let's fast forward, so yeah, Hypaspists, what, what I'm thinking of doing right now, this could change of course, is push my Hypaspists this way. Companion Cav then will come around like this and into that gap while my Phalanx is also pushing forward and hopefully creating a gap in this area somewhere. That's my plan right now. So, anyway, we'll see how it unfolds. And yeah. On the left, my hope is to just hold as best as I can. And they do not have much cavalry. They have a lot of spears, however. But that should not be a big deal, because what I'm going to do is I'll just use my hoplites then to protect this flank on my left. And I might, may even refuse that flank, Gogamela style, with my, with my pikes. Which will mean that I'll hold probably three or four groups back and push three or four groups forward. And create kind of a... Echelon like that. Well, not like that, but you know what I mean. Basically, it will be shaped like this, with these groups pushing forward. And these groups held back, and hoplites held back here. So, 
I keep on forgetting that I have these drawing tools, so when I'm talking to myself in my head. It makes a lot of sense, but of course, I don't know if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You see this... I don't know if that's a natural gap there, or is there something there? I would have to take a gander and look-see at it, but what I'm going to do is I will probably start pushing my hypaspis forward. Cavalry, you are moving very slowly, even though this is fast forward. Really, that's even slower, it seems. Alright, maybe we won't fast forward then. And, yeah, I'm guessing they're going to try and send their... Chariots right at me, so... They made a very long line here. But that means that they're very weak in here, in their center. And that is a problem for them, because I'm going to just push my phalanx through there. And they appear to just have a natural gap here, so I'm going to in indeed push my hypaspis in this direction and create a gap that I can then exploit probably in here somewhere. But we'll, we shall see how it unfolds. All right, let's keep pushing you forward now. I may even start moving my cavalry a little bit farther to the right, Galgamela style, over here, give them the impression that I am going to be flanking when in fact I am not going to be flanking. That is kind of cool looking, the wedges, even though I wish they were one big wedge. Uh, they are coming to attack now, okay. It appears as though they are anyway. It appears as though they're going to try to put most most of their focus on my... Alright, let's put you uh, on, my, on my left. Let's put your pikes down. I'm going to pull my Thessalians back. And I'm going to pull you friends over to my left like this and refuse this flank. They are coming after my shit, aren't they? Let's pull you back now. We're still riding up to the side here. And I'm not too concerned about my phalanx. I think my phalanx will be just fine. They're going to meet my phalanx, this, that cab is going to meet my phalanx, and they're going to die. Let's have my phalanx now stop. Pass this, you can keep going. Instead of getting way out there, let's have you go here. They do have some hidden units, eh? They're not going to be able to catch my cab. You see that gap is beginning to be made here? I'm going to exploit that. I'm going to keep pushing you friends forward. Like so, they're coming after my cav. I'm going to make that a very long line. I'm going to have you walk, though. I'm going to. And let's have you friends pull over here. Now, I know it's a little bit disorganized, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned about them. I think my pikes will be just fine. And I'm going to create a gap here. So, so cavalry, let's get you running. They are coming after my cav, but they'll never be able to catch us. And what is this? Mob? Yeah, you guys are not going to be able to do much here. Let's get you here fighting. Cav, let's pull you back now. It's not completely Gilgamela style, but you can, you know what I mean. They are attacking. Really trying to push far to the side here. Permenian, let's get you closer to the line. Oi. Indeed. Oi. And they are trying to get on my flank, which is just perfectly fine. I don't even care. I don't even give a damn. You guys are just chilling, and I'm going to slam my cavalry right in through here. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Let's take you friends, and boom. Hit those fools. Foolish mobs. You fools. You foolish, foolish shits. Let's put you friends in a hop... Well, let's move you forward a little bit, like that. And put you in a hoplite wall. We should be okay. Cavalry is coming in. have you hit in this little gap here. They are trying to pull some swords over here, but this is nice. Ah, I like that gap. That is Macedonian style right there. I'm running into my foot companions a little bit, causing a little bit of disruption, but I think we should be able to crush these fools. This is what? Mob? Oh, you guys are screwed. Look at that. Yeah, they're slow in that wedge, but 
We're going to be okay. Let's get you in here. Ooh, really? You have to be that bunched up, eh? I don't like that at all. Bizdus? Sounds like what my grandmother would call... Um, a beard. Brezdas. Anyway, I think it's Polish or something. I don't know. Who fuck knows? Anyway, uh, yes. So, Hypaspis, you're hanging on rather well. And we've got... Spears coming in here with these trap of levees. Yeah, they're trying to get in behind us. I don't think that's a problem, though. Pike fell. Ooh, we are losing some phalangites here. Just from the stupid shit here. Let's get you out of this. Let's start chasing some fools down. Chasing some fools down. Let's go and hit you fools. Break you. I'm just having some fun. Yeah, it's, a, it's a good battle. It's a good battle to have some fun in. The Paspis are doing very well. You guys have nothing else to do. So let's pull you over to the left here. I'm being protected by my cavalry here, so we should be okay. I could send Permidian in, but I'll wait. Boom. Yeah, you're not going to be able to defeat those guys. I don't think so. My cavalry is running all over the place, killing fools. And I'll always be able to bring them back and crush them here. They've got... Really? You're sending your slingers after my Hypaspis? You guys are desperate. Crap. All right. Why are you all turned like fucking weird? Okay. We're taking a few losses, but I mean, they they do outnumber us, I think. Or, well, I think actually we outnumber them, don't we? I don't remember. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Numbers don't matter in this game. What is this mob? We should be able to destroy the other hillmen. Well, we should still be able to destroy them quite easily. Why are you standing stationary? You should be fighting. Let's go and crush these fools. The Paspists are doing really well. Oh my god. We'll leave less than one and kill over 300. Holy shit. You lost 10 and kill over 200. Oh, oh. And you want to get inside here, is that right? Well, good luck with that, friend. Let's have you friends fire. For the time being. Lost some no companions. And there's the travel levies are getting beaten. Okay. Parmenian, don't die. That would really suck. Got companion cavalry all over the place, tearing them to pieces. Don't just stand here. Kill them. Yes. Don't just look at her ass. Eat it. Okay. Anyway, I think the American Psycho is that the name of the movie? I forget. It doesn't really matter. Oh my God! You, <laughs> you destroy those fools. Shit. Okay. How many? On how many have you lost? You've lost no one. You killed over 118. Cavalry's clearing off their. Oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, Typhoon is not gone yet. What is this exactly? Persian cavalry. Let's go kill them. Because I hate them. We've cleared off our pikes. Paspas are tearing shit up. Oh my god. I keep fighting. What the hell are you doing? Yes, and you don't stop either. You get in here. You're just being fired upon, doing nothing. Which is extremely stupid. Sorry if you can hear it raining. It's, uh... Raining quite heavily, cloud bust, and uh, I don't want to just close the window, but I don't have to because it's fucking humid. It is the worst. Humidity is already bad before typhoons, but when typhoons come, it's even worse. Why will you not be a little, just a little bit more aggressive here? Let's go and chase this fool. We have already one over here, so I think we can probably just turn our phalanx like this and go after these fools over here who are... The Paspists have already basically destroyed. Your friends can also... Yeah, you need to be in Pike Phalanx. Fuck, I mean, Hoplite Phalanx. That's not necessary. We've destroyed everything. Our cavalry is ridiculous. Let's Warcry. Can we do that? We can't. Okay, let's Warcry you then. Boom. Run away. Run away. Continue to kill. The general's doing nothing. I don't understand. His name is Arces. <laughs> He's got your RC kicked, I tell ya. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's continue here. Running through fools. Their spears can't even send them to my cavalry. It's ridiculous. Parmenion. We keep chasing. We keep chasing. Let's go and kill them all. I know it's a long battle, but it's fun. 
Ah, I like it. That's the way I like it. Let's get you here, fighting here. And Phalanx, let's get you trundling down the lane here. Let's get you running. Let's get you here. I know it's a mess, but it's it's fun. So, whatever. I don't even give a damn. They're wavering now, aren't you? You're wavering. You're all wavering. Let's get you to hit here. Cavalry eye. Yes, and then... Do have any cavalry that's not running? Why are you not moving? Come here. Oh, we've killed many. Alright, that's the end of the battle. We lost 471, probably mostly due to missile units, as it appears. Yes, their cavalry did almost nothing. Their chariots killed only one. Yeah, it was all javelins and... Shiat. Okay. Excuse me, as I drink some water. Yeah, I think we just taken, um... Uh, Hatra, Edessa. Edessa, that's the name of the settlement, I believe. Actually, it wasn't that long of a battle. Only about eight minutes, so a little under eight. We killed over 5,400. Wow, and we lost only 471. Yeah, you had no, 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 no hope. Let us occupy. That should give us a bit more of a peeky peeky into what's going on around here. Yes, there is an army in Palmyra. I will have to... Let's see, have I moved everyone? Yes, I have. I have indeed. Okay. And Libya. Ah, uh, yes, we're over here. And you can continue on your... Or you can't. Okay. I do have lots of money with which to do some stuff, so I shall do so. Okay, do that. Egypt, your public order is falling. Let us give you that. And Armenia. Let us give you fun. Just for fun. And Babylonia. Just take in Hatra. There. And there. And that. Okay. Macedonia is doing well. Libya is okay. Syria, you're okay. Caucasia. Or Caucasus, you're okay. Lydia. Yes. All right, I'm going to conserve my funds for the time being. I, do I have any more armies being built? I do. And what can we do with you? Well, you're already ready to go. Or really not ready to go, but I've got all of you selected properly. So, Hopefully Darius will not be hit Parmenian at this point. If he does, I'm going to be in trouble. But it's okay. I'll bring Alexander back. But the big thing is just to keep them out of settlements as much as possible. Because once you get stuck in a settlement, you can't retreat to higher gro better ground. And that is not good, of course, especially when you have three, four, five, six stacks coming at you. It's better to be able to retreat, hopefully split them up. And although Alexander probably would have tried to destroy them all decisively in one battle, I don't know. I do not consider myself the master just yet. So, At any rate, Azus, you've ranked up again. Chimeria and... Oh, Chimeria. Chlamydia. Scythia. Oracle at Delphi. Public order, okay. I've got to do something about public order. I, I mean, not public order, uh, the politics here. Okay. It's the only party that higher the chance of civil war. We could do something to. Do I want to assassinate Philotas? I could assassinate Antigonus. That could be fun. Hmm, I really do not want to have a civil war at this point. That would just be a pain. But we'll wait. Let's see, I could... Who is... Ah, shit! What did I just do? One, two, three, four, five... Ah, I just eliminated one of my foot companions. Crap. Okay, let's have you... Ch Can I have you change out? Who are you? You are Cassandra, right? Seleucus? Bullshit. Who are you? Craterus. Craterus is from my family, right? I could change him out. Crat yeah, you are. Okay, let's have you let's have you change out here. That should be able to I'll give you Hephaestion, I believe, is not from my family, is that correct? Sorry about this, fellas. Ladies and gents. Hephaestion is not from my family. I could go Nearchus or Cassander. I think I'll go Cassander. Just for fun. And I'll save Hephaestion for the next situation here. Let's replace you with... Where's Cassander? Cassander. Higher. 
with that. Boom. All right, good. Let's see, what can we do here? I'm only doing that because I do not want to have um, civil war. We're off all units. Attack skill. All light. I don't have any light cavalry, really. I should, but I don't. Shots per minute. Let's do morale. Okay. That should hopefully help with public order problems. Or not public order. Again, not public order. Not public order. Atogalias. Quad the fuck. Not public order. Uh, the chance of rebellion. Rebellione. All right, let us do something here. What can we do? Actually, I would like to fight that stack, I think. So let's go down here. Move faster, please. Okay, Olympia. Olympium abus. Let's see. Let's go down to... Okay, so basically it's Thebes. That is the farthest south of their land goes. Okay. You're down here. Where is that army? Hmm. Eutropia, you were over here. Tushpa. I see Tushpa. I see France. I see Dryas' underpants. Yes. Theodosis. You are trying and failing to kill this guy. Ah, you stupid bastard. Finally, you really failed. Laudamia. Let's move you this way. And we have the Medusa head wielders over here. I'm going to move southwards and take Dura, perhaps. Well, why not? Why the hell not? Let's take Dura. And that's not a big deal, so I'm just going to auto resolve. Shouldn't lose any any friends, right? Right? No, not at all. All right, we're taking Dura now. Armenian is ranked up, which makes me happy. And yeah, Griffin's Grace, you're down here. I'm going to move you. Let's see. These are the who, and they're not the who. That's haha. <laughs> that's stupid. Okay, and, uh, oh, they do have Ammonium. Okay, let's move you this way. Alexandrus, you got a lot of fucking zeal. Holy shit, man. Let's give you that. Butter the bet. Butter the bet. Here. Here. Yes, okay. So we've got this. I could move on and take Garbala. Garbala? Garbled that, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Bad joke. I'm the king of bad jokes. Garbala, you are who? Who are you, Ardhan? You hate me. When you have more territory. You're fighting against Scythia. Stupid bastards. Scythia? You don't like me so much. I could help you. But let me think... So I'll wait. Actually, I'd much rather go southwards, but if I could take Garbala and move down and have someone take Samandar... So I don't have to go up there. It would be fun. I don't know. I'm on pretty good terms with Scythia, though. I might go up there and take it anyway, just because just because I hate everyone. And you can rank up. Parmenion, what shall we give you? Let's give you great leader, yeah. That. So we've got a lot of zeal as well. Let's give you great leader. And Irat... What? Irat... Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes. Okay. Let us give you... Ooh, that. Okay. And... Let's see, Dura. We took Dura, right? Let's go like this. Boom. Elephants? Shit. Okay. Can we get elephants here? That'd be fucking cool. Mercenary elephants? Eh? No. Okay. Syrian archers, though. Hmm. I like the sound of that. He thinks I'm going to get rid of you and get me some Syrian archers. I should get um, Cretan archers, but Syrian archers are cool. That's fine. Upgrade. Yeah. Libya. And Kyrene. We do have lots of money for some reason. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to take it. And yeah. Polis. And uh, fishy fishy. And... That, and that, and uh, he thinks I'll give you that. Okay. What else have we got to do here? Egyptus, Libya, Caucasia. Let's give you... Losses. Okay, let's give you... Fishy, uh, let's give you Neptune. Just for fun. And we'll do that, and do that. Kilikia. Yeah, let's give you that. And Babylonia. Hatra. Boom. And boom. 
And a boom, I think. And a boom. Okay. And a boom. Macedonia is doing well. Lydia, you're fine. Syria. Dura, okay. Thrakia. Yes, indeed. And we got some. Ah, Bithynian Pontus. We've got a open slot here. Yay. And we shall give you what? We have lots of food here. I could give you even more food. Or I could do something else, like most public order. Very good here. Let's do like a trading post, a gathering place, thingamajig bob dub. Okay. And that's all that I need to do. So, friends, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Autogadius Magnus, and I am signing out.